Yeah, the vision is that uh, we live in cities where we have too much grey instead of green and too much dead materials surrounding us instead of living materials, instead of an ecosystem in the city. And uh, we have uh, invited uh, the best experts from Europe of uh, urban green infrastructure and uh, we are talking about strategic plans of different cities, uh, projects, uh, smart solutions, low-tech solutions, everything about uh, the green areas in the cities. We have problems mainly in the future, uh, uh, at first climate change, uh, which is really going to be a huge problem for the cities who are already hotter by f four or five uh, uh, Celsius grade today and uh, as climate change will hit us it will be even more harder and uh, besides that uh, the availability of water the water distribution will change dramatically and uh, cities will have to face with this issue too uh, water floodings but also water floods but also uh, the, the scarcity of, of water for for green infrastructure for people so we have to address these issues today to be able to mitigate and adapt to climate change in 20 years. There are a lot of stakeholders in this story. Uh, of course, uh, the municipalities, the, the governments, uh, a lot of corporations, private companies, the society itself, civil organizations, uh, and, and, and we need to uh, act together in order to be able to, to further develop the green infrastructure of the cities for the future uh, challenges. And the next step, well, uh, we have to dramatically uh, increase the amount of green in the cities, uh, especially because of the heat and the water issues, but also because of recreational and other economical, ecological and social aspects. And uh, we need to have, of course, uh, financial resources for that. Uh, but to be able to, to get there, we have to raise awareness. We have to create uh, a higher demand in the society for the green, uh, a higher awareness of these issues, of these problems which will face us soon. And uh, then we can go to the politicians, to the companies and to other stakeholders who possess the money uh, to invest into green infrastructure. Obviously, I'm a green guy, I'm a horticulturist, and I, I can imagine dramatical changes. I can imagine green roofs everywhere, on each roof, green walls, green facades, uh, on all surfaces, uh, much more parks, much more rain gardens, and everything which, which delivers an ecosystem. And I can imagine that the city itself will act as one ecosystem, uh, together with the people and uh, of course then we will have much less uh, infrastructure, grey infrastructure for cars uh, and for all, the, all those things which are normal nowadays uh, but we will have to adapt to these situations. My personal dream, I am uh, an expert in green roofs especially and uh, besides that I am uh, I have an obsession uh, for, uh, for natural habitats within the city on roofs and on different spots where it's possible to, to apply and uh, I want to promote these kind of uh, ideas and I want to teach people how to live together with those micro habitats, those uh, really, really natural areas and not to be afraid of them because many people are still afraid of these kind of changes uh, that the wilderness will uh, conquer us again. So there has to be a good balance, but for, to, uh, to be able to reach that phase we need to have a lot of communication and a lot of, uh, lot of conferences uh, like this.